Good morning. Happy middle of March, friends. My name's Anthony. We're gonna get going with a 30 minute body weight sculpt yoga fusion. So, oh hey, what's up, Mary? Beauty Skin Glow, I love your handle. Hey, Jody. Good to see you all. So, friends, we're gonna need a mat and probably that's it. 30 minute body weight sculpt to me equals like a triple shot of espresso. Chels, hey friend, love ya, good. It's gonna be like being back in the, in the studio. So we'll get started in about 30 seconds. I wanna let everyone get ready. And then I know that we've been talking a lot about comparison and how comparison is the thief of joy. So what I thought I would bring to y'all today is a sweet and simple formula for how to actually find joy. If comparison takes it away, then here's the formula for joy. It's radical self-acceptance plus effort and commitment. And that's gonna bring you joy. And that's what we're gonna move through. Y'all ready to go? Give me some thumbs up or smash that heart button and then we're gonna do it. All right. Music's on. Let's go, friends. Mary, give me a sound check via the text. Can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Cool, friends. Let's begin. Child's pose. Take your knees out wide. Shift your hips back. Reach your hands forward and allow your forehead to fall down. Soften your body here. Let your bones sink into the mat. And the radical acceptance starts right here, right now. Don't compare your body to where it was yesterday, last night, last year, 20 years ago. Fall in love with the body and the moment that you're in right now and then start to breathe, start to breathe. Inhale, tabletop, press the earth away. And then with that spirit of acceptance, start to move your body in a way that feels good. I'm the only one on camera today. You're at home, you're doing this, nobody's watching, so give yourself permission to move in a way that feels good. It might be this little dance. You might want to take your feet off the mat, color outside the lines. Yes, that's a reference to some old sex in the city, and if you're not old enough to know what that is, go do your homework. Breathe and move, and then find yourself back in tabletop. Now, high plank, y'all. Let's start to turn it on. Hands underneath your shoulders, feet under hips. Drive the earth away, pause. Bite the bottom of your rib cage and get nice and strong, nice and steady. Then we're gonna do a little bit of toe taps to activate the body. So hand to foot, here, then back, here, then back. That's it. Try to keep your pelvis steady as you go back and forth. This is 360 degrees of core activation. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog, press the earth away, lift your butt to the sky, and then bend your knees, swivel your hips, start to warm up the back line of your body. Shorten your down dog stance just a little bit, down dog twist, take your hand, your left hand, grab your right ankle, then press. Pull your right hip away from you. Oh, let it feel good. All right, let's do the other side. Right hand, left ankle, pull, twist, open it up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now bend your knees, walk your feet to the top of your yoga mat. Right dog, grab opposite elbows. Sway from side to side. So what happens when you crawl into your body and you get out of your head? You have no other option than to meet yourself where you're at. And that's the root of self-acceptance. Toe your feet together. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your heart. Dip your chin to your chest, close your eyes for a second. And think about where you can practice more self-love. Where can you stop fighting and comparing with you. 
and then you hold that in the center of your hands. Let that be the intention of this practice, so that this practice is one with purpose, and not just a physical activity. Okay, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, chair twist. Bend your knees, take your right hand back, reach your left hand forward, turn on your obliques, shift back. Yeah, so this practice is gonna be a combination of some yoga, some high intensity. We're gonna get moving. Inhale, mountain pose, stand up, straighten your legs. Exhale, seated twist left, take your left hand back. Yes, inhale, mountain pose, up you go. Exhale, forward fold, bend in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, put your hands on the ground, step back, lower all the way down, reverse crunches, plant your feet into the ground, interlace your hands behind your head and neck, then lift, lower, lift, lower, exhale. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put your hands on, inhale, high plank. Walk your hands to the outside edge of your mat, knees up or down. First set of push ups. Let's go. Down and up. Down, up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. So here's where it starts to show up. You're like, I can't do it with my knees up. Or I have shoulder problems. And you find the space that works for you. Knees down, halfway, full range. Some of you want to go one hand. Some of you want to go one hand. Figure it out. Find the one that works for you. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, quarter step, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, go right back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, sit and twist right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, sit and twist left. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, second round. Exhale, reverse crunches. Body down, hands back. Up and down. Lift, lower. Press the front of your pelvis into the mat. Strong posterior chain activation here. Yes, glutes, hamstrings, spine. 360 degrees of core for four, three, two, one. Second round of push ups. This time, chat around the push ups. Bring your elbows close to your body. Tricep push ups, another way to call them. Down and up. Down, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Only eight, seven, six, five, yeah. four, down dog in three, down dog in two, down dog right now, press back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, bend your knees, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. So we've been here before. Now we're gonna add some more fire. Hands at heart center. Keep your knees squeezed together. Let's go. Up and down. Up, down. Exhale. Exhale. So drive your hips forward and out at the top. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your knees together. Activating our adductors. We don't often do that. Normally our squats are wide. Today, tight. Draw your knees together. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Pull down in three. Pull down in two. Pull down in one. Right here. Catch your breath. Keep the tension in. Acceptance is the platform. Now we move into the second part of this formula. It's effort and commitment. Because when you get to the end of the day and you look yourself in the mirror and you know you've given everything you've got, there's no room for regret. There's no room for looking anywhere other than inside. But it requires effort and commitment. 
to stay here as my legs are shaking and as your legs are shaking. Then bring your hands back to heart center. Tiny pulses. Let's go. Down. Yes. Down. Down. That's it. Find your breath. Find your breath. Lower. Woo! Make all the noise you need to. Just stay in it. Eight, seven, six, five full range in four, three, two, one. Let's go up, down. Woo. Notice how much easier it is when we get to full range. Four, three, hold chair in two, hold chair in one. Right back here, oblique taps. Down, center, down, center. Yes. So back to 360 degrees of core. This is the lower side. This is the obliques. And you're still working your quads. Still working your quads. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four fold and four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Forward fold. Nice job, Pete. Inhale. Halfway lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Do it one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push up. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. First one to practice. Oh, it should feel really good. Hang out here for a hot second. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bring your shoulders above your hips. Again, bite your rib cage in. And turn around so you can see. Stretch the front line here. A lot of back line strengthening and front line opening because we got to reverse that 2020 zoom body. You gotta bring it up and out. Big heart. Heisman's time. Up, up, up. Yep. Here we go. Keep the right knee bent and drop. Drop. For eight, seven, six. Keep it going for five. Four, come on, Chelsea. Three, two, one. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Lift your left leg up and squat. Lower and lift. Pretty simple movement. It's just one legged squat. And you're still strengthening up the back line. Getting into your left glute. Eight, seven, Six, five, how's your effort? Four, how's your commitment? Three, two, one. Drop your foot, inhale, crescent lunge. Your right thigh should be on fire. We're gonna add something called running lunge. Running lunge looks like this. You're gonna hinge forward, put your left elbow on your right knee, and bend your right elbow. We're gonna switch sides. Looks like this. Tap. Then back, tap, back, exhale, exhale, yep. Big step, big step. Good team, keep going, keep squeezing. Yes, you've got it, work. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, One, inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high plank. High plank. Pause. More glute action. These are called leg sweeps. Right leg. Out. Let me find the beat. Out, in, out, in. Exhale. Exhale. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Hold dog pose. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inside, other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Again, pause, hold, and breathe. Stretch the right side of your body open. 
right hip flexor, left, right quad, strong back side, big open heart. Got to have an open heart if you're going to accept yourself, who you are, and where you are. Period. End of story. Interlace your hands. High Heisman. Up, up, exhale, exhale. So you know this move. Keep your left knee bent. Use your hands to activate your rotational force. Lift, lift, exhale. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Press in three, two, one. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, hands to the ground, she squats. Dip, extend, dip, extend. So it's a lot of, it's basically a one-legged squat, but then make sure you kick your right leg up to activate your right glute. Hamstring. A lot of back line strength. This is also an opportunity to catch your breath a little bit while you're still working. Nice team. Some of you are like, I'm not catching any kind of breath right now. Four. Three. Two. One, drop your right foot, inhale, crescent lunge. Oh, you should feel this right here. Big running lunge. Right elbow, left knee, hinge forward. Up, back, up, back, exhale. Try to touch opposite knee, the opposite elbow. You're working on your athleticism here. You're being dynamic. Right? Life is not linear. You all know that. You gotta chase the kids around. You gotta navigate Trader Joe's. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high plank. Leg sweeps, left side, left leg out, then in, out, in. Go wide. Yes. Bigger. 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 Yes, team. Eight, seven, six, five, four, down dog in three, down dog in two. Down dog in one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice shot, team. Here's our break. Here's our rest. Time to check in. Are you having an argument with yourself? Or are you loving on yourself? More joy equals more effort, commitment, and self-acceptance. Period. End of story. Breathe. Inhale. Bend your knees. Exhale. Jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. And let's shake it out. Jump ropes. Get your wrist going. Up, up, up. Jump ropes. So a little bit of a cardio burst before we do some core. Good for eight, seven, six, Five, double jacks in four, three, two, one. Feet wide, hands in, in, out, out, in, in. So it's double first. Keep the heels lifted and press your palms together for eight, seven. Add the arms in six, five. Four, three, two, one. Up. Add the arms. That's it. We're going to go full single jacks in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Single jacks. Up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back. Yeah, team. Come, on, Mary. Keep on going. You got it. Yeah. There we go, sweet candy. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your feet wide. Settle in. 
Knees out, toes out. Pause. Back to that squat position. Hold it here. Hold it here. This is where we cool down. Just for a moment. In four. On the ground in three. Two. And one. Stand up. Come all the way down your back. Have a seat. Bend your knees, feet down. Hands by your hips. These are called knee tucks. Out, in, out, in. Exhale, exhale. If you want more intensity, climb your hands forward. Chelsea, hands forward, keep them on the ground. If you want less intensity, take your hands back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your legs long. Come on down to your right forearm. Lift your left butt cheek off the mat. So it's like you're watching TV. It's like you're watching Housewives with the old ones, the good ones. You keep your legs straight. Now we're gonna hit some obliques. Left hand up, back, up, then exhale. Exhale, good. If you want less intensity, just shorten your knees. Shorten your knees. Full go, keep it long, tap your toes. Eight, seven, other side. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Left forearm down, right cheek up, same thing. Up. So you got it. Keep your legs straight. Keep your legs straight. Squeeze the right side of your body. Yes, and use your whole form. Dial in, dig in. This is like the commitment part. It's uncomfortable, but you've got a steady heart rate. Are you in it for the long term? For those of you who are married, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it gets, it brings you the most joy, and it also gets uncomfortable, and it comes back to your commitment. And so what you're willing to do, what you're willing to create for your life and for your future. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four. Knee tucks in three, knee tucks in two, knee tucks in one, back to center. We go in, out, in, out, exhale, exhale, plus eight, Seven, six, five, on your back in four, three, two, and one. Roll on down your back, give yourself a quick squeeze. Put your feet on the ground, palms down, inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips up. Take a moment. Should feel good to open up, but we're going to add a little bit more glute, a little bit more backside. Hips go down, and then up. Full range. Tap your booty on the mat. Drive your hips to the sky. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Hold it up in two. Hold it up in one. Stay right here. Lift your right leg up. Then reach it forward. Square with your knee. Hips go up. Tiny pulses, up, up, exhale. So now we should start to feel this. Keep your knee in line with your knee. So not like this, like this. Hips go up, up, for eight, six, four, two. Foot down right now, left side up. We begin again. Up, up, exhale, exhale. Last bit of work, team. Last bit of work. Can you stay committed? Can you see it through to the end? Can you get to the end of this workout and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I gave everything I've got. There's no room for regrets in comparison. That's the game. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, drop it down, give yourself a hug. Ha. And happy baby. Grab the inside or outside of your feet. Draw your knees to the side of your body. You can straighten your legs. You can roll left and right. Pull your feet over your head. You're gonna put your hands, your feet down. Right foot over your left knee. Take your hands through the triangle, supine figure four. Interlace your hands around your left knee. Let your head fall down. And then use your biceps to pull in. So a little bit of bicep work, but really focus on the release here. Use the fire that you built up through your practice through this morning to open up through your hips. Let your foot down, slide your right knee over your left. Drop everything to the left. Look right. <sighs> Eagle leg supine twist. Close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that. Start to release all through the center line of your body. And know that this is equally as important, if not more so, than the effort we put in. Can you be committed to self-care, to self-love, to nourishing your body? Can you be just as committed as you are to the effort, to the work that you put in? Unwind. Shake your legs out. Supine figure four on the other side. Left foot. Grab your right knee. Pull in. They're two sides of the same coin. There's no need for you to totally burn out and then be injured for months. You know, in a real side note, most professional athletes don't retire because of a lack of muscular strength and or cardiovascular health. It's because of a lack of nourishing their connective tissue and joints. It's a breakdown in the connective tissue. Drop your right foot down, slide your left knee over. Eagle leg supine twist. Gaze left. Right, the proof is in the pudding. Tom Brady, if you watch football or not, he's 43, he's won more Super Bowls than anybody else, and he practices yoga and stretches four to five days a week. A few more rounds of breath. Unwind, shake it out, let your body go long. Final resting pose, close your eyes. I'll let you know when it's time to move again, sweet friends. Time to release, time to let go. Time to let go. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Yeah, Tori. Start to awaken your body, then come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your palms to touch, dip your chin to your chest, close your eyes. So many of us have personal practices that we engage in. Take a moment to honor yours. And inhale, lift your thumbs and Exhale, bow forward. This is in reverence, love, respect, and gratitude for each other for this extraordinary community. Namaste, friends. Y'all, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for showing up, for being committed to yourself, for practicing self-acceptance, and for demonstrating for everybody in your family and your communities what it's like to live this way, to be the source of inspiration. Super grateful for you. Reach out to me. My name is Anthony Chavez. It's at Anthony Chavez Yoga on here on Instagram. I teach at Core Power. Um, but thank you. Love y'all. Catch you next time. Peace.